Hello and welcome along and welcome to Lone Oak Farm. So this is Bullet Bill's wonderful, wonderful new map. I absolutely love this map. Um, we are going to be doing uh, a bit more of a, a classic Let's Play on here. We're still going to be doing lots of the uh, realistic stuff with it. Um, uh, and we have seasons and everything in. But it's much more like a, a, a sort of standard Let's Play. Uh, we're not starting it at the beginning of a day each day or anything like that. Um, we're just going to play through the map, really. Um, so, uh, looking at our first day, uh, what we have to do at the moment. Uh, we have 50 sheep and, 50, uh, and 100 cows. They are not fed at all, either of them. So we need to sort our animals out. Uh, we also need to get doing some... Uh, Culti plowing. We've got a, a culti plow. Uh, we use the big bud for that, so we're going to get that going on uh, course play. Uh, and the other thing we need to do is we do have a load of um, uh, uh, a load of liquid manure uh, slurry. So uh, we're going to get going on that. We're going to take one of our John Deere's out and uh, and work on our grass with that. So really, as uh, first thing we have to do is, uh, is is the normal stuff that we need to do early on in spring uh, we are on six day uh, see, uh, six day seasons uh, we will probably end up doing things like skipping days and things like that though because uh, I'm not expecting uh, it to take us too long to do some jobs uh, basically we have uh, we only have four fields uh, and uh, and yeah we, we, we need to to sort of get the work done on that and give us enough time uh, but at the same time we're not uh, I'm not expecting it to take so long uh, that uh, that we run out of any particular time and so it'll be a little a little bit be a little bit more like normal farming in that sense in that you're not necessarily working the land every single day uh, we are gonna start this on field uh, what field do we have here? Field 45, which is a wonderfully odd shape. Uh, I am looking forward to seeing how course play handles this. Oh, no, this is field 44. Field 45 is the one over here. Um, yeah, how course play handles this, because uh, it is a wonderfully odd shape. So we're going to get it going on here. Uh, we are doing field work. Uh, we are on field 45. There we go. Starting location, uh, we're going to go current vehicle position. We want it to end up here. Uh, I'm going to give it three headlands. And let's see what that does. Right, where is our start point? Oh, well. I, you are impressive, course play. So course play has picked a route that uh, it make sure that it can do that it means that it reaches every part of the field i'm a little bit worried about this bit over here there's quite a big gap there so it'll be interesting to see what happens there uh but otherwise wow that is an interesting course course play is done so we're going to get course play off doing this and i'm hoping multi-terrain angle is on here all right where is there's the start of course Quite a big field, this. Uh, but then that's why we have this and not just a plough. Uh, this will get us to the point where we can seed fairly easily. So, not too worried. Right. So, uh, first waypoint. Drive course. And this should have no problem with this, I'm hoping. We'll just give it a watch for a minute. And check it doesn't have any issues. And we can also check whether we have multi-terrain. We do have multi-terrain angle, which is fantastic. Right. Now, I'm hoping with this diagonal, it's actually going to have enough space to turn. Being an American map, this should do. But it, it's, uh, it may not. We have a lot of equipment sort of over that way. That's why we're having a little bit of issue with uh, frame rate. 
but that seems to be it's more that tree line there that worries me so I'm just going to check it it handles that okay but it is yep seems to be here we go no it isn't ah oh. That's slightly annoying. What we need to do, because we know it can turn sharper than this. I'm going to take its turning circle down to about 8 metres. And hopefully, that will sort the problem. There we go. Right, that is on its way now. And it appears to be getting on with it. So uh, I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, that's staying on the field now. That's doing a much tighter turning circle. Maybe slightly too tight, but if it makes it around this other end here, that would be great. Uh, and then we can get on with uh, the other jobs we have to do. Which I think today is probably going to be the animals. I think we will end up doing the, uh, the other stuff next time. Here we go. Yes, that now has no issue at all. Right, so we're going to head uh, back to the main farm. Yeah, oh, there we go. Uh, right, we are in the 7R. What I want, actually, is this. We're going to be using our wheel loader. Hopefully, we can navigate out of the shed with this. I don't know if we have enough space. Uh, we should do, actually, because we've just taken the big butt out of here. There we go. Right, we're going to go and get some bales with this. And uh, the first thing we need to do is we're going to go and get some hay for our cows. And we're going to go and feed that to them. Uh, and then we're going to go and we're going to load some straw into the uh, straw, um, straw blur and use that for cows as well. Right, this has, I think, a single bale at the bottom here. What I want to do, really, is I want to take three bales off the top. So, uh, oh no, I think this has four bales down the bottom here. Yeah, it does. Right, so we're going to take these front four bales then. We should have enough height to do that. There we go. There we are. Right. Why is that not? There we are. Right. We've got three bales off there. Not quite as many as I wanted and not quite as securely as I wanted either. We may just... That should do the trick, to be honest. Not the most secure uh, bit of loading I've ever done. Uh, but they are at least on here. And if we head round here. Now, uh, I think they will go in the slot round here. I'm right. That John Deere uh, wheel loader doesn't half make a lot of noise. There we go. Right, that should go in there. There we go. Right, how does that do our cows? So that gives our cow... Oh, wow. Wow, our cows are going to take most of these bales. We are going to have to do... We're either going to have to buy some more bales, I think or 
we're gonna end up needing to um, to get an early hay uh, or some early hay work in. Uh, but we are gonna need. It seems we're gonna need a lot of bales. We are. We do have a hundred cows, so this isn't overly surprising. Um, but yeah. I'm considering seeing if I can get the grazing mod into this map. There we go. Four bales sitting a little bit uncomfortably. But they are sitting, so... Uh Thing is, this would only actually normally load three. Uh, and I'm considering looking and see if I can get a different bale spike. Um, there must be one for a wheel loader. Uh, I may even have one for a wheel loader, to be honest. But it just, uh, yeah. I think, uh, I think a different bale spike may be of more use to me. If I can get them half full, uh, then that would be good. We do have, uh, we do have a bit of money. So we can buy more bales if we need to. Uh, but it is this whole thing of whoa, getting off the ground. Right, here we go. There we are. So that takes us up to, oh yeah, actually, three more bales. And we probably will have enough feed for the cows for now. Uh, for the next few days. So that... That will make me happy. Uh, we need to make sure they have some water, though. We've got to go and find... Uh, there is a lake somewhere, apparently. Ah, yes. There it is. Down by uh, Field 37. Uh, we'll go and see if we can go and fill up from there. Uh, but this is going to this is gonna be a good chunk of our bales, I think, this is going to take. Put that back on. Whoop, back on top. And pick up the pile. That then gives us. Oh, no. I think that's got underneath. Yeah, there we go. Right, these three should do us for now. So that's basically 10 bales we've got. We bought 16, I think. Um, yes, pretty sure I bought 16. Maybe more than that. I'm trying to think. Uh, no, I'm not sure. Uh, we bought a lot of bales uh, when we set up. So we, we should be okay for now. This should keep us going for a little while. Uh, I would like to get some mixed rations, but realistically speaking, we're not going to get mixed rations done for a while. Now, uh, what we can do is we can get them some grass in the field. Uh, I'll, uh, I can use the setup to do that. So we'll do that in a bit. Uh, right, we need to get some straw to the cows now. So to do that, we are going to need a tractor as well. And we'll use the uh, 7R for this. So, we'll just head into here. Grab the top two bales. Because we can only put two in our bale shredder at a time. There we go. Road. I may end up with a pile of bales on the floor here. There we go. Now that's how you control a pile of bales. Uh, right, so I'm going to reverse up here. And we'll go and get the T8. That really is noisy from the outside. Uh, so yeah, I am noticing a frame rate drop. And that is, that is simply because this barn is full of equipment. Uh, what we'll find is as we go, uh, that will lessen. 
Uh, and we may have to distribute our equipment a little bit about uh, in order to prevent that. Uh, I think the piece of kit I want actually is at the... Uh, oh no, I know where it is. It's over this way with all of our other animal stuff. So we need to pop into this shed and grab this. Ah, uh, yeah, it's... Whenever I look at the barn, my FPS drops. Right. Oh, I said I was going to use the R7 for this. I uh, had 7R for this. Never mind. Uh, we'll use the T8. T8 is actually next to the Big Bad. It's our most powerful tractor on the farm. So it's kind of wasted on this job, to be honest. Uh, but it does, it does do the job. So, oh, it will do the job. That is one very noisy wheel loader. I think we need to get a bucket for it because I I need to um, I need to unload stuff as well. Oh, I need to to pick up uh, manure, which we can't do at the moment. So I'm going to have to go and buy a bucket. And this is part of the reason why we have a little bit of money, uh, simply because there will be things I've forgotten during my setup. That I will need to buy, and I don't want to. I don't want to be using the money mod to get them. There we go. Right, let's go and uh, and see if we can work out where to to blow this. I think that we're going to have to drive through and come back. Oh, that really is a bit of a bad frame rate drop there. Uh, it's nothing to do with the map. Absolutely nothing to do with the map. I need to. I, I want to make that clear because it's not. Uh, this is one of the best optimized maps you will ever come across. Now, do we have? Can I drive through this? Oh right. Okay. Easiest thing for me to do then is not to come in here this way. We will go round and come in the other way. Let's close this door. Yeah, yeah, because we can't get in that way. So we need to get in here. I think the 7R may have been a better choice. Because this is going to be tight. There we go. And away we are. Fantastic. So how many more of these trips do we need to make? Uh, oh, wow. Probably another three by the looks of things. So we're going to become fairly expert at getting through that door, I think. Uh, by the time we finish this. Uh, which is cool. You know, I'm uh, I'm glad of that, but it is uh, yeah, uh, it is quite an interesting uh, thing to be doing. Is uh, is getting this this size tractor through that door is um, quite a challenge. It's not really the tractor; it's the trailer. It's getting enough of a turn on it that we uh, we can get through that door easy. Uh, right, we want the bottom two bales. Now for the last trip, I may try stacking four into the... Uh... Oh, no, that didn't work. There we go. I may try stacking four. It'll go uh, It'll go too higher than the actual uh, thing. But it will, uh, it will allow us to only do two more trips. Right, we'll leave the door open. We don't need to close it because we're only pulling forward slightly. There we go. Right, and up. Oh, not quite forward enough, though. That's alright. Won't take us much. Actually, three and three might have been a better choice, but... Never mind. No, a little bit more. Right. Because, yeah, at the moment we're ending up with that. But this will work. So close that. And away we go. 
yeah, those are uh, <laughs> slightly wonky. Actually, I'm wondering if uh, if we only ended up using one bale up the first time, uh, which will make this easier because if it is only four bales that you need, we ooh, we do at the moment have four bales in there. How much longer we'll have four bales in there, I am not so sure. I'm going to take it a little bit slower and see if I can get around here. No, I have lost a bale. That's all right. Right, I'll take it wider. And try and maneuver myself in without clipping anything. Oh, I clipped the feed trough anyway. Right. There we go. So I think what we will end up doing uh, next episode is uh, I think we'll go and get the sheep fed. And uh, and we will get the uh, and we will get working on the um, on doing the slurry on the grass so that we can get the first bit of slurry done. This time uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this last bit of straw in. I think we have yeah. Uh, oh and we will get some water quickly. I'll run over to the side of the We do, Yeah I'm not too... I don't want to hang around the yard too much with this issue. Um, but yes we will uh, we will get some water in a moment and get the uh, well actually we'll do that next time we will get the cows and the sheep watered because the sheep watering is is very easy um, and uh, and then we'll get on with doing some uh, slurry spreading uh, because that is what we will need to do to get things moving and, uh, and yeah just trying to I'm trying to think what other types of um, well, we can put some solid fertilizer on our grass as well. But to be perfectly honest, we, we should have enough slurry to do the grass a few times with it. So there we go. Pick that up. Yeah. So four four straw bales. That's fantastic. That's all we need to do our cows for three days. We should have, we will have enough stuff looking at this to get us to the end of uh, spring. There we go. It's a nice wide turn in. Yeah, we'll easily have enough stuff to get us to the end of spring. We do need a way of cleaning this up though. Our, uh, our little tractor is up with the sheep. I need to open that door a little bit more, I think. Right, let's last spray of uh, last spray of straw and I think we are all done I think yep yeah, there we go enough for the animals for three days so I'm just gonna pull this out of here and uh, yeah I am happy with that close the door turn this off as well and uh, and there we go so we have got uh, our big bud up and running and doing stuff uh, that will be a little bit of time uh, on that field uh, and uh, and we got our cows started as well so next time we will get our cows watered and we will get our sheep started and uh, and we'll get spreading some slurry so uh, I will see you then but for now all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time. Goodbye.